In this video, we're talking about selling price, purchase price, and markup. Just remember that every time you go into a store to buy something, the price that you pay for it includes the amount of money that the business spent to buy the item, plus a markup. If they didn't add a markup in, they wouldn't make any profit. If they bought an item for $100 and then they sold it to you for $100, they wouldn't make anything. They have to mark it up in order to make a profit. When it comes to markups and selling price, you just need to remember this formula. Selling price, the amount that the business sells you the item for, is gonna be equal to purchase price, the amount that they purchased it for, plus a markup. In this example, we're gonna pretend that we know that the purchase price is equal to $1,800 and that the markup is equal to 40% of the selling price. In other words, we know that the business bought the item for $1,800. We know that they're gonna sell it to us for some amount of money, but we don't know what. And we know that they marked it up by 40% of the selling price. In order to find selling price, we just need to plug these values into our formula and then solve for S. So here's what that's gonna look like. We're gonna say, S is equal to, we don't know S because S is the selling price and that's what we're trying to find, is equal to the purchase price. Well, we know that the business bought the item for $1,800, so we're gonna say 1,800 gets plugged in for P. And then we know that the markup is 40% of the selling price. 40% of the selling price would be equal to 0.4 times S, 40% of the selling price. So we can say plus 0.4, times s. Now if we want to solve for s, all we have to do is subtract 0.4s from both sides, so minus 0.4s minus 0.4s, and over here on the left hand side we have 1.0s minus 0.4s, that's going to give us 0.6s is equal to 1800 and we're going to get positive 0.4s minus 0.4s those two are going to cancel and become zero so we're just left with this equation here now we need to divide both sides by 0.6 to solve for s over on the left we'll get these to cancel and we'll just be left with s is equal to 1800 divided by 0.6 and if we want to do the decimal division really quick we can we can say 18 100 and we can say 0 0.6. We want to move the decimal one to the right, which means we want to move this decimal one to the right and then put it here. Now we're going to divide 18,000 by six. Well, six goes into 18 three times, so we get 18, zero. And then we know it's going to go in 0, 0, 0 to get to the decimal. So we know that the selling price is going to be $3,000. Since we know that S is equal to 3,000 now, we can plug this back into our original formula and we can say 3,000 for selling price here is going to be equal to the purchase price, which we know is 1800 plus the markup. If we subtract 1800 from both sides, we get 1200 is equal to M. So we know that the markup was $1,200. Now, the only thing we have to check is that 1200 is actually 40% of 3000 because we said that the markup was 40% of the selling price. So is the $1,200 markup in fact 40% of the $3,000 selling price? Well, if 1200 is in fact 40% of 3000, then 1200 divided by 3000 should reduce to four over 10. So let's see if it does. We get 1200 over 3,000. If we cancel two zeros, we're going to be left with 12 over 30. We're just reducing our fraction here. If we divide both of these by 3, we're going to get 12 divided by 3 is 4, we're going to get 30 divided by 3 is 10, and in fact we do get 4 tenths. So what that tells us, since we know that 4 tenths is 40% or 0.4, we know that 1200 is 40% of 3000, which means that this selling price satisfies the original question, because we know that we found a markup of $1200, which was 40% of the $3000 selling price. So that's how you use this formula, selling price equals purchase price times markup, to find the selling price of an object. If you have different information about the markup and the selling price, you can find the purchase price, or about the purchase price and the selling price, you can find the markup.